Hi everyone, welcome back to this series of Amy Breaker questions and video tutorials. Thank you so much for stopping by, it's really great to have you here. This one is a really quick question from M. Anantha Raman. He's just asked at my site, Hi, I'm going through your website and I must tell you it's one of the best educational websites. I'm new to Amy Broker Coding and have one doubt. Okay, great stuff so far. In one of the videos it says about the last two lines of codes that is so that it doesn't take all of the signal arrows. Now, um, he wasn't sure what those two lines are. Please explain. Absolutely, and that's a really, really great, great question. And I have the perfect um, little thing that we've been working on over the last couple of videos to actually showcase this. It's a really simple way to just get rid of any excess signals if you don't, if you only want to take one and don't want to take another signal. Um, you know, before something else happens or before another condition happens, um, it's really easy to set up. Sometimes you might have trading systems that have like signals on every bar, for example, um, and so you really need to get rid of those or you need to just change your code up. This will show you how to do that. Uh, in this particular trading system, as you can see, it, it's just entering all of the time as long as it's above this moving average, and I'll just make that moving average a little bit more prominent for us. But as long as it's above that moving average, it's just going to keep entering. Um, so what if we didn't want it to keep entering? What if we wanted it to actually not enter again until it had closed below the moving average again? That is where um, XREM or removing excess signals can actually help. So I'm just going to pick up the code that we have here. Um, what we're looking for, hey, this is all the code that we set up for this particular uh, trailing stop that we were looking at over the last couple of videos. And I'll just make a whole bunch of room so that we can see exactly what we're looking for. Basically, we've got our buy signal up here, but we're going to set up our buy signal again. And to do that, we're just going to use XREM. So XREM is removing excess signals. And the way it works is it'll remove excess signals for that first array, in our case the buy signal, until the second array happens. So for us, if we want it, we want only one buy signal to remove the excess buy signals until we get a close below the moving average of the last 150 days close off both of those sets of brackets for the moving average and for XREM and close that off there. And so what we're going to do now is just save that. I'll delete this one and refresh it. And there you go. As you can see, it's only taken that one trade. It's been stopped out, but it hasn't entered any more. And let's see if it actually does work. When will it close? Okay, great. So, wow, so that was quick. It closed below the moving average and then straight back above it again. So that was technically an entry signal according to that uh, trading system that we set up previously. And there you go. It's uh, it's uh, just had its stop loss or trailing stop loss triggered again. So that is what XREM means. That's how you remove excess signals. Um, you can use it for a whole bunch of different things. Obviously, um, do a quick Google search and you'll find all the information on Amory Broker's website. They are absolutely fantastic. And feel free to swing by my website. It's asxmarketwatch.com. There's a whole bunch of free videos, a whole bunch of technical analysis there. Really great stuff. Guys, I hope this has helped in some small way. Have a great week. Happy trending until we meet again. Bye for now.